Hey everyone, it's Sarah from The Yard Studio. I hope everyone's staying home, staying safe, staying healthy, but most importantly, staying positive with everything going on. Uh, let's try and take our mind off of everything with this really cute picture of a giraffe we're gonna paint today. So uh, what you'll need is a large paintbrush, which I already got some paint on, uh, a medium-sized paintbrush, and we're also gonna need a short, stubby paintbrush. We're gonna need some tin foil for mixing, paper towel to keep our paintbrushes dry, a cup of water, and we're also gonna need our palette with some paint on it. I got dark blue, white, black, yellow, green, light brown, and dark brown. Then I got my canvas. Um, if you don't have an easel at home, you can use anything uh, somewhat heavy to keep your canvas propped up against. You just want it heavy enough so that when you're applying pressure to paint it, it's not gonna fall back on you. Um, and you might wanna put down a piece of plastic or maybe some um, newspaper on the table just so you don't get the table messy because I know I do. Um, so to get started, we're gonna take our tin foil with our large paintbrush. I already started mixing uh, part of our background color. So we're gonna take dark blue and we're gonna take some white and we're gonna mix it around until you get this nice light blue. Um, and we're also gonna be doing an ombre in our picture. So, in our background, which an ombre, if you don't know, that means we're going dark to light. So I'm gonna start by placing a line about halfway through my canvas with this nice blue. And I am gonna start painting nice long brush strokes up and down, just filling this side of the canvas, making sure I'm not going over this line. And I'm just gonna cover it to make sure that I can't see through the canvas. Um, you're probably gonna wanna do two coats just to make sure um, that nothing see through and we don't get any of those little white spots. So uh, once we're done filling in that half of the canvas blue, uh, we're gonna clean off our paintbrush, mix it uh, really well in that water, try and get all that blue off. And we'll also make sure you wipe off the excess water on both sides so we don't have any drips on our canvas with water. Um, and then make sure you really dry it off with your paintbrush. So the next step is we're gonna fill in the rest of this half of the canvas with just um, our white paint. So I'm gonna start by filling it in. It doesn't matter if there's a tiny bit of blue in it, that's okay, because we're gonna end up mixing um, all the extra blue upwards when we blend. So we're just gonna fill the whole thing white. And when you get down here towards the blue, it's okay if you get a little bit on the blue. That's all right, because we're gonna mix it through. So just cover the whole thing white. So now that we covered um, our other half of the canvas fully white, we're gonna start by taking our paintbrush, which still has the white on it and a tiny bit of blue, um, and we're gonna start dragging that white down and the blue up. So you're doing up and down brush strokes, just like this back and forth. All across the whole canvas. And I'm gonna go back again. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna wipe my paintbrush off just with my paper towel, just to get the excess paint off. And with a clean, dry paintbrush, I'm gonna keep blending. So um, I think I'm gonna start off at the top and I'm gonna blend really um, lightly, doing the same thing, uh, up and down brush strokes, back and forth, across. So I'm gonna go back this way. Maybe I'll drag it down a little bit more as I go. And then again, I'm gonna take my paintbrush with my paper towel and wipe it off so it's nice and dry. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here again. I'm gonna bring my paintbrush up and down and keep blending. And you're gonna keep doing this until you're satisfied with the way um, it's blending from light to blue. I think I'm probably gonna do it one, uh, one or more, two more times just until everything's really nice and blend. You might wanna do some really nice up and down long brush strokes too, just so everything's really incorporated. Something like that looks pretty good. So uh, for our next step, we're gonna take our short stubby brush and we're gonna take our tin foil. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of yellow with a little bit of white and mix that through. 
and just make sure when you take your paintbrush off, it doesn't have a huge gloop of paint on there like that. I'm gonna roll that extra off just so we don't have too much on there. And I'm gonna start off by, we're gonna start by drawing um, the giraffe's head and I'm gonna do about right in the middle, I'm gonna start by drawing a triangle. Just like this. And I'm gonna wipe the extra off just because um, my background is still a little bit wet. Um, if you're home and you have a blow dryer, you might wanna hit it with the blow dryer before you start doing this. If not, it's okay if the colors mix through a little bit because we're gonna go over it again. So uh, from that point, I'm gonna take this line right here and I am gonna go downwards like this all the way to the bottom of the page. And I'm gonna take some more yellow I'm gonna do a second line right here because there we got the neck. I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow. And now I'm gonna start doing a line going from here and then another line going here. Just going around like that. So now that we got the initial shape of our head, um, and our little snout. We're gonna start by doing the ears. I'm gonna grab a little bit more yellow and a little bit more white, mix it through. And I'm gonna start on this side of the head and I'm gonna do a rounded line up like that. And then I'm gonna meet it on the other side and bring it down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Nice rounded line here. Bring it down and meet it there at the bottom. And then we're gonna do one line here, one line there, one line here, one line there, and then we're gonna fit both of those on top with a little ball. So now that we've got our full outline of the draft so far, we're gonna take the remaining of our yellow and white. We're gonna take a little bit more yellow and a little bit more white and then a tiny bit um, of our light brown, and we're gonna mix that in. And this is gonna be the base color of our giraffe. So if you want it a nice bright um, giraffe, you might wanna add more yellow. If you want a muted, um, more tan giraffe, you might wanna add more white. Um, but really whatever kind of shade or color you would like for the giraffe would work best, um, depending on however much you wanna add of each color. So I'm gonna just start in by filling the whole thing in uh, with this nice bright yellow. I'm taking my time when I get to certain areas to make sure I don't go outside of the line. Making sure I don't go into that background or mix any of that blue in there. Now I know the face is kind of getting lost, but it's okay. We're gonna outline everything again once we fill the whole thing in. And when you get up here to these, you might wanna take your small paintbrush again and um, go really slow so we can get into those small spots. So we don't get So if there's still some blue showing up in your giraffe while you're painting it um, yellow, you might wanna do a second or even a third coat, just depending, you don't want all that blue showing. So, um, and when that's all done, we're gonna start doing our outline. Um, and to do that, we're gonna take our small, short, stubby brush. Make sure it's nice and clean and dry. I'm gonna clean mine again because I just can't get that uh, yellowish green off there. And I'm going to take my dark brown. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of that light brown. And I'm gonna start off by doing a few different circles. You don't want the perfect circles. Just kind of want them like the spots on the giraffe, kind of wobbly lines. See, mine's still a little bit of wet, so it kind of took a little bit of my yellow paint away, but that's okay. So I'm gonna fill it in dark brown. Do a few more. You can have them big, you can have them small. And then I'm gonna fill them in with that dark brown. And you can use your medium or you can use your short stubby paintbrush to do this part. So now that we filled in those spots, I'm gonna take my tin foil again 
and I'm gonna take my light brown with my short stubby paintbrush with a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. Mix that around so I got a nice lighter brown. And we are going to draw kind of like the same shape of the ear, but just smaller with inside the ear on both sides. And then we're also going to take this same color with our brush. We're just going to fill in these small sections right here. Taking our time so that way we don't get it in anywhere else on our painting. And if you have to do two coats because you're still seeing the yellow through, do two coats. And then after you fill in that, we're going to fill both the So ears. now that we filled in those sections, we're going to take this dark brown again. I'm going to mix a little bit more. So I took my dark brown, some light brown, and then I took some yellow, and I mixed that through. And I still have my short stubby brush. I'm going to fill in these two balls on top, this nice dark brown. I'm going to fill my second one in. Now I'm going to do some small, uh, short brush strokes within the tan inside the ear, and I'm going to go upwards. And kind of go around, like rounded with the shape of the ear. I'm going to do that on both sides. And then once you finish that, we're gonna take um, we're gonna take our medium paintbrush and we're gonna add some more of the dark brown. And we're gonna start doing uh, small brush strokes going upwards up the length of the giraffe's neck, just like that. And you might want to do two coats in that as well, if you can see the blue. So now we're getting to the fun part. We're going to start uh, the eyes on the face. So I'm going to take my short stubby paintbrush, um, nice and clean. I'm going to take some black. And I'm going to start by doing um, a circle, maybe half the size of your circles up here. I'm going to do one right here take some more black and i'm going to do one right here and i'm going to cover them up and fill them in black probably do two coats because i don't want any yellow or light colors showing through so uh once you cover them up um and they're fully black you can't see anything through them i made mine about the same size as the top of uh my giraffe, so it doesn't really matter the size, kind of whatever works for you. Um, from that point, I'm gonna take my short stubby paintbrush with the black, and I'm gonna add a few eyelashes. You wanna make sure you rest your elbow on the table, or you can even hold your elbow just to steady it. So when you're doing this, um, you get a nice clean brush stroke. So I'm just gonna start at the inner corner of the eye, I'm gonna go out, and I'm gonna flick it out, I'm gonna go over it really gently again. Maybe I'll do one more. And do the same thing on this side. Starting at the inner corner and going outward. I'm gonna do one more. And from that point, we can do the little whites of our eyes. So I'm gonna flip my paintbrush around. I'm gonna use the back of my paintbrush. I'm gonna dip it in our white. And we're gonna add two little dots of white. The little whites in our eyes. Now that we finished that, we are gonna wash our paintbrush off. And we're gonna take our light uh, brown again. 
and we're going to start by doing an outline. Um, let's start at the ears. I'm going to take my time making sure I don't go outside the line and really try and get nice, perfect, clean lines. And I'm going to do this on both ears. Really making sure I go over it again if I can see through my lines. I don't want to see the background through these colors. And then from there, I'm going to go up the little antennas if you call them that. Basically, we're just gonna do an outline over the whole giraffe. Just making sure to take our time to not try and make not any mistakes. Now, from here, I'm gonna start at the point of the ear and I'm gonna go down Across the neck. So now we're creating that neck and that jawline. And right around the bottom of our giraffe's mouth. And up a little bit. Now, this is the tricky part. So everyone is going to take this line and they are going to go up the face a little bit. And then continue this line until we reach the giraffe's eye. And then we're gonna go and fill that line in up there. And I'm running out a little bit of paint, so I'm gonna mix a little bit more brown, light brown and white. Maybe a little bit more dark brown. And I'm gonna go up this line one more time and go over that. And everyone just keep going over these lines to make sure that um, you can't see the back room through because even I have to go over mine a few times just because I can still see through a little bit yellow. So um, I made my uh, brown line a little bit thick so I'm gonna go over it again with a little bit of my yellow, making sure my brush is really clean, taking a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white and I'm just gonna make that line just a little bit thinner and that's the great thing about acrylic paint if you make any mistakes let it dry blow dry really quick and we can go over it again uh, there's no mistakes with acrylic paint so I'm just gonna go over it making that line a little bit thinner maybe a little bit thinner down here Maybe let's bring this, uh, let's bring the jaw down a little bit, the snout, just a little bit more. So now we're going to take um, our short stubby paintbrush again with our dark brown and we're going to go over this line again. So let's start right here, go down and around our giraffe's mouth. Making sure that our lines are nice and dark. We can't see anything through it. We're gonna bring this one up a little bit over here just so we can definitely see that snout. All right, and from there, we're gonna do two little nostrils. One right here one right there, and then we'll smile. And let's do a few more spots on our face, and I'm gonna mix a little bit more brown. So I'm gonna take my lighter brown again with my darker brown, tiny bit of yellow, mix that together, and I think I'm gonna do maybe a few more spots here. Some on the forehead. Mm 
nothing has to be accurate. Just place them where you'd like to place them. Maybe a few down here. And now we're gonna take um, our small, short, stubby paintbrush and we're gonna clean it off. And we're gonna take some nice, bright white. And we're gonna do some highlights on our giraffe. So I'm gonna do a few on the ears. So right in this part between the tan and uh, the dark brown, just between that yellow, we do a little bit of a line right there. Take some more white and do the same thing on the other side. Right there. A little bit of a highlight on each of the tops of those. A little white line down the center. So for our background, we're gonna take a short stubby brush. Um, we're gonna mix a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, and a little bit of white. A lot more yellow than you think you need, just because we want a nice lime green. So from there, we're gonna take our short stubby paintbrush and we're gonna take um, probably starting off from this top corner and we're gonna do a line going down and kind of cur curling around like that. And we're gonna follow it by doing another line. It's okay if it goes off the page, just meet it again at the bottom and uh, meet it there at the bottom point. And then let's do a leaf right here. Maybe another leaf up there. Let's do maybe one more right here. And we'll do another vine coming right on this side. We'll have another leaf peeking out from over here. And then we'll maybe have a vine coming down right there. Maybe another leaf. So now that we got all of our outlines of our vines and our leaves, let's fill them in. You can either use your medium or your small paintbrush. I'm probably gonna stick with my, uh, my small paintbrush just because I wanna make sure I really stand the lines because I don't wanna make any mistakes in the background at this point. So I'm just gonna take my time filling in all my vines and my leaves. And again, you're probably gonna wanna do a second coat because you can probably see through it with the background. So really take your time filling in um, all of our vines and our leaves. Okay, so now that we finished filling in all of our leaves and our vines, we're gonna start by taking our black with our short stubby paintbrush. I'm gonna wanna make sure it's cleaned off pretty well first. And then we're gonna take our black and we're gonna start doing a nice outline. Again, you might wanna steady your elbow and really take your time doing a nice outline. Over each one, especially with the black, you wanna take your time because it's very easy to make a mistake. Um, and then with our leaves, we're gonna do a nice little line going down and meeting that point. And if you have to go over your black lines again, uh, just because you can probably still see the background through, just really make sure you go over everything a second time. So I'm just taking my time again, just by going over the vines and the black, being really careful when you get to um, one that's getting close to your giraffe, just to go around it. And just keep doing your outline throughout the whole vines and leaves of your painting. And if you want on your vines, you can put a few little extra black lines just for some detail. I did a few on mine. Um, I just remember those little black lines. Also, um, I kind of decided now that the black's all in the vines, I'm gonna do a little bit of more black um, on my nostrils and a little bit more black on our smile. And then I'm gonna clean it off again. Take a little bit of white, just so we can go over those highlights that we went over with the black on our nostrils and on our smile. 
And that finishes up our giraffe for today. I hope everyone had a good time and everyone's giraffes probably, I know, turned out great. Um, hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.